dear friends in this lecture we are going to deal with another physical method of a gene transfer that is micro injection in our previous lecture we have been studied what is gene transfer what is genetic transformation what is transgenesis and the transgenic plant today we are going to deal with the micro injection now what is micro injection micro injection is a process of transferring the desirable dna into the living cell through the use of glass micropipette the glass micropipette is of 0.5 to 5 micrometer in diameter that easily penetrates the cell membrane and the nuclear envelope this technique was first proposed by dr marshall a barber in the early 19th century this technique involves the delivery of a foreign dna into the living cell such as egg oocytes and the embryo of animal cells through the use of glass micropipette this introduced dna may lead to either over or the under expression of certain genes generally this technique is extensively used with the animal cell whereas the micro injection of a dna in the plant cell has achieved a limited success this is largely because of the difficulties in getting the protoplast immobilized and introduction of a dna into that protoplast without damaging the tonoplast that is vacuolar membrane is very difficult now let's see what is the mechanism of this method in this technique the whole process is carried out under the high definition microscope here the delivery of a dna into the cell is done under the powerful microscope by using the glass micropipette of 0.5 micrometer in diameter tip then the dna is also drawn into a small micro syringe with the aid of powerful microscope the cell which is to be injected is held in a position by using a uh, nano scale suction or holding pipette this holding pipette is placed in the field of view of microscope to suck and hold the target cell at the tip therefore the tip of the micro injection is uh, injected through the membrane of the cell to deliver the content of the needle into the cell and then the empty needle is taken out in this way we can ensure the delivery of the dna directly into the cell now what are this uh, the method of micro injection is technically more demandable and time consuming a maximum 40 to 50 protoplast can be injected in one hour the successful transformation of the cells or the protoplast were has been achieved in tobacco brassica alpha alpha plant etc it is most successful with the plants which are having dense cytoplasm and non vacuolated embryonic cell whereas the large vacuolated cell shows low rate of transformation possibly because of the dna first get delivered into the vacuole cell and as a consequence it may be degraded now what are the advantages of this method here the marker gene is not required the introduction of a target gene directly into a single cell there is no requirement of a selection of a transformed cell using antibiotic resistance herbicide resistant markers it can be used for the production of transgenic organisms particularly mammals now it has some disadvantages such as it is costlier it needs a skilled person and it is useful only in animal cell therefore in this way we have been studied how there is a transfer of a desired dna into the living cell by the micro injection method thank you